With the upcoming movie Wonder Woman, the oldest female superhero receives her own movie after a 70 year run. Finally, a female superhero who stars in her own film rather than just being eye candy. This desire has been stated at Marvel as well for a very long time and Captain Marvel, which will come out between the next two Avengers films, will give the fans exactly that. Academy Award winner Brie Larson will suit up and become the iconic superhero. My name is Ms. Marvel and I'm here to welcome you to Earth. Now go home. Who is Captain Marvel? There are actually seven different Captain Marvels. However, the only ones that matter to us are the first and the last one. The first captain was a man named Marvel, who belonged to the Kree, a highly developed alien military race. We were already introduced to one of these Kree in Guardians of the Galaxy, as Ronan the Accuser is also part of that race. What are you doing? Dance off, bro! As a Kree spy, Marvel was sent to Earth in order to monitor their technological development. However, since he did not want to have anything to do with the schemes of the Kree regime, he joined forces with the humans. Branded as a traitor by the Kree, Marvel remained on Earth and even fought alongside the Avengers, thus encountering Thanos. And now, let us skip forward to Captain Marvel number 7. Carol Danvers. Carol Danvers had an impressive past. She worked for the Air Force, the CIA and also answered to Nick Fury himself. During that time she encountered Dr. Walton Lawson, the alias for Captain Marvel which he used on Earth. During an explosion of a Kree device, Carol was exposed to alien radiation, which resulted in the mixing of her DNA with that of Captain Marvel. While the explosion had no effect on the alien, Carol became a perfect human Kree hybrid. Among other things, she received the knowledge and abilities of Captain Marvel. Therefore, two personalities inhabited her body from this point on. This caused her a lot of trouble since she was not able to control these abilities at first. Due to her sixth sense comparable to Spider-Man, she constantly suffered from blackouts. While being unconscious, she always turned into Miss Marvel and none of these personalities knew about each other. However, with time, Carol learned the truth and embraced her role as Miss Marvel, becoming fully in charge of that persona and her abilities. You wanted Earth to surrender? Guess what? It's your turn. Give up. As Ms. Marvel, Carol fought for justice and order and also partnered up with the X-Men, the Avengers and the Guardians of the Galaxy. The latter have been established in the MCU already, which is why we might get a first look at Brie Larson as Ms. Marvel in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. But hold on. As of now, we have only referred to Carol Danvers as Ms. Marvel. The story of how she received the prestigious title of Captain Marvel is both simple as it is sad. After the death of the first Captain Marvel, Carol became his successor. What are her abilities? Carol Danvers is a brilliant agent, which she has already proven to the CIA and Nick Fury. In addition to that, she is a brilliant hand-to-hand -hand combatant, marksman and pilot. Thanks to the explosion of the Kree device, Carol also possesses all the abilities of the former Captain Marvel. She is extremely strong, quick and is able to endure 24 hours of fighting without getting tired. Surrender. Never. See? We got something in common after all. Aside from that, she is nearly invincible and can survive in space without any problems. Oh yeah, and she can fly. And as an already trained pilot, she uses this ability to her advantage. Another power is her ability to absorb energy in order to strengthen her own power. An ability which she can also use in a reverse manner by shooting photon beams out of her hands. As we mentioned before, she has a sense for danger and is able to detect threats before they reveal themselves, an ability which could make Spider-Man quite jealous. At the same time, she feels the changes within the universe, which could turn her into a pivotal role when it comes to locating Thanos. I can't just stand here watching. If I'm going out, I'm going out fighting. With Captain Marvel, a strong superhero with an interesting origin story makes her way into the MCU. What do you think of Captain Marvel? Let us know in the comment section below. And if you'd like to learn more about Black Panther or Thanos, then check out these videos.